All right, Justin, so let's see what you have here. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that we mount our clothes pole into some structure because we don't want it to fall. So I want to hear or listen to see if you have any structure in the wall. This is nothing there, it's hollow. All right, so we have a stud in the corner here and here. So let me check this side, I'll start in the corner. Pretty hollow. All the way out, way out, there's another stud right there. So I had a feeling that would happen. So what I want to do is I actually want to use some one by five pine. And I'm gonna mount it to the wall right here and we can nail it into structure here and here and that will support the shelf and the clothes pole. All right, so what I'm gonna do is cut two more pieces and get them mounted to the wall. To make the job easier, I'm assembling the shelf cleat, including the clothes pole brackets, outside. That way, we'll be able to install it in the closet as one unit. To locate the height of the shelf, I'm going to measure 5 feet 4 off of the floor. I'm then going to run a level line around the inside of the closet. That will ensure that my shelf is level. I want to do one more thing to make sure we have a real strong hold. I'm going to put some dabs of construction adhesive on the wall and that should really hold it. Now, if you want to hand me that cleat, yeah, and sure. Get it installed. Take it like that, right in the corner, like that. If you want to hold that side up for me, keep it right there on that line. That's good. Now I'll just push this one in. Okay, and now I'll just nail it to the stud. Now we can side up on the line. The clothes pole comes in a six foot length. I'll cut it to size using my reciprocating saw. All right, let's see how it fits. Nice. And that's good and strong. That'll hold plenty of coats. Now I want to measure for the shelf. For the shelf, we're going to use a piece of 1 by 12 pine. Okay, so now let's see how that fits. Fits great. 